Hey, Patrick Murphy here from Quarter Inch Off and I'm uh, going to review my next project here. This is my office, so this is where I work all day long and it's a little messy. Um, but what I want to build is this hutch um, to mount my monitors to. I'm going to take them off the pedestals, mount my monitors. I actually have four monitors I want to mount. So the idea would be to put four monitors stacked together and then two shelves up on top. So we're looking at about 63 inches wide, 63 inches tall, and then two shelves. So that's my uh, next project to try to organize this a little bit. So I can use my desktop as well as my work laptop. And get the view outside here. My backyard needs a lot of work too. Um, we finished this room all except these windows. These windows need to be replaced and the trim around them. Uh, and then I need to finish the closet as well, and this room would be done. But for now, to help me work more efficiently, uh, I want to get this done, stained and put up there. So the idea for the hutch here is going to be, like I said, 63 inches wide, 63 inches tall, two side pieces. I'm going to do a rabbit in the top uh, for the top piece, and then I'm going to do dados for the two shelves. Uh, and then I, I debated putting a bottom on this. Uh, there's going to be plywood on the back, but the bottom is going to serve a way for me to screw this into my oak desk up there. I really don't want to put any holes in there, but I don't want holes in the wall for a brace for this because we're going to be moving it um, back and forth. I may move it in the room. So to keep this on the desk from tipping over, I'm just going to screw into the bottom. So for that, I'm going to put this board on the bottom, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to rabbit it in or uh, just butt join it or what I'm going to do yet. Uh, we'll see. One of my concerns is 63 inches. I'm going to put a lot of books on here. The weight of the shelves um, make any sag. So I am going to run a one inch uh, strip of plywood underneath these. Um, I went to the lumber store and they had 11 and 3 quarter inch side panels, some with holes already drilled. Uh, for the price of two panels, I could get a full sheet of plywood. Um, and what I, I thought they were hardwood, but they weren't. They ended up being just plywood with an edge veneer. Um, so for the price of buying the six pieces I need, uh, I could get multiple sheets of plywood, edge banding, and, and everything. So I'm just going to do it myself. I did have them cut it up just because I'm alone today and trying to cut full sheets on my table saws of pain. So I had them cut up six pieces that are 10 inches wide. So these, the sides, the top, the bottom, and the shelves will all be 10 inches wide. Now, um, aside from dadoing these in the two sides and flat against the back, I'm gonna run a shelf support on the back, have the one inch strip in the front, and then some down the sides to add additional stability. And then in addition to that, what I had planned to do for the shelves is, um, Put in these uh, shelf separators and I'll screw them in one piece um, so that that will add stability. So I'll be screwed into the top which will take some weight and help. Um, we'll have the runners underneath it um, but generically this is what it'll look like. I'll have my desktop sitting over here or over here, my four monitors and then a bunch of shelves. So that's the idea. And then for a side view what I was thinking is a shelf support in the back with these dadoed in. Um, and then, I don't know what that picture is. I think that's just a side picture. Who knows? Then I have plans for a printer stand, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that. So for now, um, I'm going to start by cutting the rabbits, the dados, equally on the two sides. Get these uh, uh, cross cut to the right length and start the project. Okay, I got my top and two shelves squared up and cut. Uh, these are 62 and a quarter, so they'll sit 3 eighths of an inch into each of the dados on either side of the rabbit. I've got the bottom piece and the two sides. So the shelf top, bottom piece, I just need to edge band. Uh, I got a roll of 250 feet of edge banding. So edge band these, um, well sand them, edge band them, and then they're done. The two sides, I need to cut a rabbit in the top, three quarters of an inch, so that the top will sit. 
and then I need to mark where the shelf dados will go. Now the top shelf, there's gonna be 12 inches of space and then nine and a half on the other one. So I need to line these up correctly. I haven't done dados in a while. Um, I'm not gonna try them on the router table just because as you run this against the fence, it moving probably isn't gonna work well. Um, so I'll do those with a hand router and uh, see how it goes. Uh, but that's the next part. I'm not going to, I decided I'm not going to grab at the bottom. I'll just butt joint that together. Um, and probably use pocket holes. Pocket holes in the bot the sides to go into the bottom. I don't care if I see pocket holes. Uh, I can always try to do something. And then the excess pieces that I have, uh, these right here, so that's the cutoffs from all these. Um, will be the dividers that go between the two shelves. So some will be 12 inches and some will be nine and a half inches. Um, so I'll just reuse those. So I've got enough wood for that. Um, and we should be good to go on this. The only thing I don't have cut would be the, uh, the one inch strips that I want to go in here, which I've got this extra piece uh, that I can cut the strips off on. And, you know, I don't know if I, I really don't need to edge band them, but I probably will, just to make it look better. Uh, at least the front ones, at least the ones that are in the front of the shelves, the ones that are in the back that are there for shelf support, I probably won't do that. Uh, I'm also debating how to put that one inch piece on a shelf. Um, since this will be edge banded, I can put it on the bottom. I'll probably do pocket holes in the back to hide them. I will do pocket holes on both sides and then when this is dadoed in, uh, when I put the back panel on, the three-quarter back panel, I'll screw the shelf support in that way versus trying to put a one-inch strip on the back panel and then putting the shelf on. It'll make more sense when I do it. But that's where I'm at.